Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Firstly, wanted to start off today, um, just want to make sure you guys are happy for me doing this uh, Wednesday waffle. I know it's not everybody's kind of uh, cup of tea, but I, um, I I just wanted to sort of mix things up a little bit, and um, and I had a few requests for people wanting to sort of me to talk about bits and pieces. So, and I just wanted to make sure that you know I'm. That, that, that you guys are, are happy because you know that's the most important thing to me is obviously keeping uh, my viewers happy anyway so um, that was my first kind of concern and not really just just really wanted to get it out there that's all um, I've had uh, from my last waffle I told you about that I went uh, to a car boot sale I've been again um, and I've picked up a few more bits and pieces I'll show you that I picked up this and I thought this might look quite cool in some kind of project. Um, I've no idea what it was used for, but it does look very old. It's got some bits and pieces on the back here, which I thought we would remove. And then I thought that we could try to maybe, um, I don't really know, <laughs> to be fair. But I just looked at it and I thought, you know what, that might look quite cool. And I was thinking maybe we could infill all of the gaps with resin some kind of coloured resin or something or maybe just one colour with white or black or something it's got something in here I don't know what this is this is there's one missing which is a bit of a shame so I don't really know what that is but maybe we could pick those out and we could maybe refill that with milliput or something and we could maybe use this as part of another piece so we could maybe inlay this whole piece into something else I don't know I just looked at it and I thought it was quite cool picked up these bags of beads, thought they were quite cool. Um, anything with colours really kind of like draws me in. Start seeing lots of colours, I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's get those. <laughs> they're, they're mine. These were quite cheap. Uh, I think they were 50p a bag or something like that, 50p or pound a bag. Um, so I got quite a few of these, and I thought that might they might look quite cool in a bowl or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, another kind of zoned in on these. These are like fish, for fish tanks. The stones, look, but those are coloured stones. Again, got to be careful with this one because obviously you can't really turn this too much, I don't think, without ruining your, your tools. Um, but again, I just saw this and I thought that might look quite good in some kind of project as well. I've got so many things to put in projects. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I just keep p picking these things up. If you go to these places, don't necessarily car boot sales, um, or um, flea markets, I think you guys call them in the States. But anywhere really that you see something, you think, oh, that looks quite good. I could visualize a project somehow around that. That's kind of where I'm sort of going with it. Now, one thing I did pick up and I started to have a little idea was, was loads of these little keys. Now, as I was going through the car boot sale, there was always a stall with a load of old keys on for some reason. Just randomly, sets of old keys. Um, and what I like about these is they're all quite old fashioned and they all used to be used for something. And they used to unlock something at some point. But obviously no one knows what they unlock anymore. And I just looked at those and I thought, that might make quite a cool project. You might see something like this come up in, a, in an up and coming project, a key project. Maybe, I don't know how to incorporate that, but I thought that might look quite good. So I've had a bit of posts come in as well, so uh, which is quite nice. I thought I'd do a little bit of unboxing for you as well. I've already opened this. Um, and um, this is from a young chap, and this is what's really quite exciting. Um, and this guy, um, his name is Ben Whelan, if I've got that right. Ben, sorry if I haven't, I think I have. Um, and he is only 15 years old, and he's into turning. Um, and he's made this. Look at that, that is really cool. Fantastic, Ben. Uh, that's an awesome pen, and thanks so much for sending this down to me um, that he's made. I'm not sure what wood that is. Again, I'm never really great with wood, but walnut is it? Is it walnut? That's a slimline pen. Um, so, um, 
and he's got getting into wood turning and he just wanted me to give him a bit of a shout out. Ben uh, has got a Facebook page, I think. Is it a Facebook page, he said? Uh, it is a walnut pen after reading the letter. That was a good guess for me, considering that I have no idea what woods are wood. So he's got a Facebook page and it's called Ben's Welsh Pens. He's from Wales, <laughs> if you hadn't guessed that. So I'll put a link down for his channel below. So, and I'm sure he would love a bit of support um, from, from anyone really. Um, and go and check his channel out. So uh, fair play to him though, Ben, 15 years old. He's been a subscriber of the channel for a while, he says, and, and uh, he sent this down to me. So Ben, thanks very much, buddy. Keep it up. Making stuff is just really cool. You know, and um, getting into a workshop and getting into making stuff now at your age, you know, by the time you get to my age, you're just going to be so, like, well-known. People are going to know you everywhere. You know, they're going to, like, think, wow, this guy's making so many different things. You'll learn things every single day. Keep up the good work, and thanks very much for the pen. Cheers, buddy. Also, I've had another box here that's come in, so I'm going to open this up. It does say Highland Boxes on the back. I've got an idea where this comes from, but looking at the address, um, I'm not so sure. But Highland Boxes, so I'm just going to open this up now. I haven't had much, oh look, here we go. So, got a bit of a sticker. Highland Boxes. I've seen this before somewhere. I think this person comments on my videos. I think it's a subscriber. Yeah, let's have a little look. So I haven't delved into this. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought it was Pam. I kind of was thinking to myself, I didn't want to say it, just in case it wasn't, but I uh, sent you a sticker and a couple of pen blanks. Thanks, Pam. Um, loving your videos. Thank you. Pam. Pam has got a really great channel, so go and check Pam's channel out. She sent me a couple of little pen blanks here, look. So there's one there. Oh, and there's the other one. That looks quite cool. Look at that. I presume she's probably made these. So Pam's got a uh, channel that she started up a little while ago. And uh, again, she would really love some support as well. And she makes some really cool stuff. Uh, this is her hobby as well, I believe. She does also work um, at the same time. I didn't know she was in Scotland, though. I thought she was closer than that. But uh, thanks very much, Pam, for sending in those uh, blanks. I pre really appreciate that. Thanks very much for, for watching my videos. I really appreciate that as well. I've had something else come in the post as well, um, which is an odd one, an, an Amazon. Um, piece and I haven't ordered anything from Amazon um, this is a tack tack life laser distance meter it's not something that I've ordered but I will check it out anyway this is used for measuring stuff laser tack life have you heard of one of those I presume it measures things I'll get that fired up and just see how that works and then I can, you know, give you a shout out whoever that's from. It doesn't actually say who it's from, but I presume it's actually from Tack Life themselves. So thanks Tack Life for sending me this this gift. Appreciate uh really appreciate that. Uh, I will try and stick a link down below for your uh for these guys as they've sent me this uh piece. Um oh, I can see through it. But um there we go, thanks very much. I want to say a big thank you again to David Lowe uh, from uh, Woodcraft, Woodcraft by David Lowe, for um, uh, letting me do his, his vase, his take on his, on his zip vase. If you didn't see the video, uh, it's around here somewhere, but I did a, a vase um, with a zip on it, um, and which David's, David makes all the time. And um, I just wanted another shout out for David. And again, his channel is below. Please check David's channel out. He's on Facebook. Such a nice chap. He'd be really grateful if uh, if some of you could pop on over there and just check his Facebook page out. He doesn't make YouTube videos, but um, he makes lots of different things. If you wouldn't mind uh, clicking the link and, and uh, saying hello to David. That would be really cool. Uh, he's a lovely chap and uh, really makes some cool things as well. So. Um, hopefully you like the zip vase and um, I did I, something that I wanted to do uh, for a little while and I say I sort of contacted David and asked him if he was happy for me to do it and he was like yeah no problem at all give it a bash you know doesn't look anything like David's but you know it, it's similar something similar so I hope you guys like that I wanted to try and do something different and uh, that just caught my eye a little while ago and I thought oh, I'll, I'll do that so again hope hope you enjoyed the video um, I think it's been posted actually um, 
uh, on the Daily Mail recently, so it's quite cool, I suppose. So uh, that thanks, thanks to the Daily Mail for taking the video and showing it. Uh, some lovely, weird, and wonderful comments on there, <laughs> as you always get. Uh, thanks very much, Daily Mail, for posting the video. Appreciate it. And again, credit to David. Um, I think that's really it, guys. Um, oh, actually, no, it's not it. It's not it. But remember this from last last uh, Wednesday waffle. Well, interestingly enough, I got this obviously at the car boot sale all the way in the UK and it's actually about a ship, a, a real ship. I just thought it might have been initially just like kind of somebody just put a ship there and just put a poem. But it's actually a real ship um, called the Flying Cloud. If you Google it, you'll get a bit of information from it. So this was a clipper ship that set sail uh, from New York. And uh, it was made in Boston, um, in Massachusetts, Mass Massachusetts, is it Massachusetts in Boston? Um, but it actually held uh, the record, the world record, uh, for had the fastest passage uh, between uh, New York and uh, San Francisco, I believe. Um, and it was, oh, what was it? It was 89 days and eight hours or something like, like that. Um, and... Um, and it held that record for a uh, hundred years. Quite a bit of history to it, really. That that piece, that ship. Um, I just thought that was pretty cool, really, to have a pick up a bit of history from um, the the states in the UK. Um, I know these things get about and stuff, obviously, but it was just kind of pretty cool. I thought it had a little bit of a story to tell, and I love things that have stories to tell. So there it is. So um, that's it, really. I think I have waffled way too long, obviously, again and again. Hope you guys are happy um, uh, with, um, with, with my waffling, and I uh, hope you're still enjoying the channel, as I said. Um, hope you're looking forward to the project video this Friday. Um, I put a video project, well, a project video out every Friday, um, and uh, waffle uh, every Wednesday about stuff. <laughs> um, so um, that's it really for today, guys. And uh, hope you're all well. And I will see you on Friday. Take care.